Are you a die-hard X-Men fan looking for a definitive timeline? Then don't look any further. We're here to take you on an epic journey through the whole X-Men universe, from Professor Xavier's school for gifted kids to the war with Magneto and his brotherhood of mutants, and all the amazing adventures in between. Get ready to see how some of Marvel's most popular mutants turned into some of the biggest heroes of today. Hello and welcome to Amuse Comics. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Now let's get this video started. Every X-Men movie made after 2006 X-Men, The Last Stand has spent some time trying to undo what happened in that movie. It's easy to understand why when you look at the death toll, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Xavier, well, mostly, and dozens of other D-list mutants lose their lives. Not only that, but Magneto, Mystique, and Rogue lose their powers, which seems just as bad for new stories featuring those characters. Some of the reversals happen off-screen, but then the franchise introduced time travel in X-Men. Days of future past and things got complicated. The storyline of changing the past wasn't new. It was actually based on the groundbreaking 1981 comic, The Uncanny X-Men, Days of Future Past by Chris Claremont, John Byrne, and Terry Austin, and creating different universes by going back in time isn't new either. The continuity of the X-Men comics is complicated by multiverses, pocket universes, and alternate dimensions. In the film's interpretation, the future is grim, with mutant kind being hunted to extinction by sentinels, so the remaining X-Men come up with a desperate plan. Kitty Pride, Elliot Page, will send Wolverines, Hugh Jackman, consciousness back in time to his younger body in 1973. Wolverine will then try to change an important part of history. The mutants think that the ripple effect will make their future go in a different direction. Wolverine's journey on film thus far in the original X-Men trilogy, which was set and released between 2000 and 2006, has been pretty linear. The first two Wolverine movies, X-Men Origins, Wolverine and the Wolverine, also fit at least if you squint. After all, let's not forget that it was X-Men Origins that introduced us to Ryan Reynolds' fast-talking, smart-mouthed Deadpool. And, while characters like Bolivar Trask have been recast or retooled on a regular basis in The Last Stand, he's played by Bill Duke, and in Days of Future Past, he's played by Peter Dinklage. It's impossible to fit the fourth wall breaking Deadpool movies into any logical timeline at all. Cable, Josh Brolin, another time-traveling character from a separate dark future, appeared in Deadpool 2, a scene in which Deadpool literally kills the previous version of himself from X-Men Origins, Wolverine, cameos from the cast of X-Men, Apocalypse, and references to Wolverine's death in Logan, a film set in 2029 that must have taken place after the cameo. But let's back up. The crazy post-apocalyptic future is shown in X-Men, Days of Future Past takes place in 2023. Here's a short list of things that must have happened between the end of The Wolverine, which took place in 2013, and the start of Days of Future Past. Wolverine changes his bone claws to adamantium. The Sentinel program goes online. Mutant concentration camps become standard, and Xavier and Magneto start getting along. What do you think about how Magneto and Jean Grey destroyed San Francisco in The Last Stand? It's not that surprising that the military would set up a program to hunt down mutants. However, everything else seems to have gone very wrong very fast. To make sense of the quickly changing timelines, we must look at them through Wolverine, our time traveler. When his reversal mission fails at first, viewers see glimpses of a dark future. This proves that the mutants in 2023 were correct. They can change the future. And then there's that third timeline. In the last scene of Days of Future Past, Wolverine wakes up in a better future that his actions in the past have made possible, but that last scene is very troubling. So what happened to past Wolverine's mind since he must have lived between 1973 and 2023? Did original Wolverine kill an alternate version of himself? Even without getting into the complicated topic of predestination, the rules of time travel are, let's say, flexible. But at least one insists according to Days of Future Past. Original Wolverine can't permanently erase past Wolverine's memories. He could only use his past body while Kitty Pride controlled his future mind. 
So, when original Wolverine's mind tried to go back, he was in two places at once, creating a new splinter timeline. And just like that, there are four. An alternate universe formed, and it's in that new universe that the newest films made after 2014 exist, spinning off adventures that don't line up to the original X-Men trilogy, reintroducing characters in different ways. Angel has an alternate origin story in Apocalypse and in The Last Stand, and introducing eerily similar storylines, like Jane Grey's Sophie Turner in Dark Phoenix. Even though it's complicated, it's good news for the writers of future X-Men movies who no longer have to make sure everything fits together perfectly. It's even better news for the audience, who will continue to be surprised. That was it for today's video, guys. What is your favorite X-Men movie? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. We'll see you later.